one of the top gay in the military activists, one of the guys behind the killing of Don't Ask, Don't Tell, was arrested this last week. Air Force Lieutenant Joshua Seafried was actually, oh, he was charged in April when the Don't Ask, Don't Tell was put to rest and gays were allowed to openly serve. A big party was held, I believe, in New York City, and several gay officers went to this party. One of them got drunk, and he ended up getting raped, and he sued, and this is coming for um, the, the judgment on that. The, uh, the court-martial, I guess it is, is going to happen. Let me scroll to the end here. Uh, next month, it's uh, St. Andrews Air Force Base in Maryland. So one of the big proponents, the activists that want gays to openly serve in the military, has already raped a fellow officer. Yeah, way to keep it classy. The military is not a social experiment, people. This should never have been allowed to happen. New York just issued a decree or whatever it was. (sighs) Governor Cuomo announced on Thursday that insurers can no longer deny coverage for sex changes. You're going to, if sex changes are expensive, probably $100,000, maybe a quarter of a million dollars. I mean, that's a lot of pretty radical surgery. You're going to see insurance companies closing the doors and not doing business in states where they have to pay for these freaks to get their sex changes. And that's not a sex change, okay? Okay, it's not a sex change just because you, you can sew a penis on the front of my car. It doesn't make it a man. They're body modifications. A man is a lot more than a human being with a penis. And you can't change that. Nor can you make a man a woman by cutting off said penis and putting the girly parts on there. It doesn't work that way. And if you think it does, then look up the suicide statistics for people that have gone through this. They hate their life as a man. They hate it more as a woman. I remember one person would change to be a girl, then change back to be a man, then change back to be a girl, and then change to a corpse because he couldn't take it anymore. Everybody was ridiculing him no matter which direction he went or she went. The Ottawa gay pride leader, the person behind the Gay Pride Parade in Ottawa. Hey, folks, we'll cover this next time. I just realized this hour zipped away on us. A little bit of news, a whole lot of update stuff tonight. Good night, America. God bless you and yours. This is Tom O'Halloran. I'm out.